Hey guys, I'm finally making this video for you to show you how you can split your audio through OBS so you can listen to music on your stream without it being on your Twitch VOD. It's really simple to do. You don't have to buy anything. It's just a few things you have to do through OBS. You might just need to update your OBS. Otherwise, you might just need to download a plugin if you don't have this feature on your older version of OBS. But it's pretty simple and I will show you how you can do it. So as you can see, I made a new scene here. And I added my microphone, I added my video capture device so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I added my display capture, my game capture, and I have Spotify and Phasmo Audio. So let me open Phasmo really quick so you can see, because you can see that I split my audio. I split my audio already for Spotify and Phasmo. I will show you how to do this, but I want to show you that it is working correctly because you should not be able to hear the music that I play through Spotify, but you should be able to hear Phasmo. So I'm going to open Phasmo here really quick. And you should see it opening here. If I hide this, you can see that it is Phasmo is opening and you should be able to hear the audio for it in just a moment. And yeah. I'm glad that I'm finally making this video because I know so many of you have been asking me to make this video, but I've been sick for like two and a half weeks. So finally starting to feel better, but I am still coughing a lot. Welcome back. So see, you can hear, you can hear the Phasma audio and let me pull this back up. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to play music, which if you see here, you can see that Spotify is playing, but you shouldn't be able to hear it, but you can hear Phasmo. Phasmo is a little quiet. There we go. Let me turn it up a little bit because I didn't realize my knob was turned down on my audio mixer. But so Phasmo, you can hear Phasmo. You shouldn't be able to hear Spotify, but you can clearly say that, see that it is playing Spotify. So I'm going to pause that. <clears throat> so this is how you can set it up yourself so it is split just like mine is. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to your settings. And now... The next thing you need to do after you have settings open is you need to go to your audio. Make sure your desktop audio is disabled. You might have something here such as like your headphones or maybe your speakers. This is taking your desktop audio through your desktop, obviously. But if you are splitting your audio like this, you're either going to one, have double audio on things or two, it is going to still play your music because it's going to hear it from the desktop audio, even though you have a separate source that is muting said audio on your VOD. So disable your audio, disable all your desktop audio. Next, you will go to your output and you can see this, right? Yeah, you can. I want to make sure my webcam is not blocking it, but you go to your output, output, out, <laughs> go to your output, go to your stream. And you can't see mine, it's grayed out because I'm currently recording on OBS. But you will see right here, your audio track will be one. Consider your audio track like your live stream, basically. Your Twitch VOD track, have this chat marked and have it on number two, track two. So remember that your VOD track that you don't want your Spotify music on or your YouTube or whatever, have that on track two. Have your live feed, your audio track on one. And... Also, you can put your recording, which for example, right now I'm recording through OBS and you can record to make sure that you've set this up correctly. And if you don't already record through OBS for like YouTube or just for anything else, put your recording on too, because if it's on the same track as your VOD, you will hear what the VOD hears. And then you can test to make sure that it's working correctly and that you don't have the music playing or anything else you don't want like on stream playing. So put it on, uh, you check mark it on too. Okay, so now I'll show you how to actually set up the source because like I said, um, I have my game, my game capture, I have my display capture so you can see what the heck I'm doing. I have my webcam, I have the audio for Phasmo, and I have the audio for Spotify, and then this is my microphone. I'm going to show you how you can set, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing. I'll show you how to set up the, um, how to split your audio, and I'm going to show you how you can do it like through your browser because it's the same way you can do it for Spotify, but since I already have Spotify here, I'm going to show you how you can do it through your browser. So basically what you do is you hit the little plus sign right here. Oops. <laughs> right here. And I have two because uh, in the past, OBS did not have this feature. So people had to download plugins. So that's why I have two. But the one that says beta is actually the one that I got from OBS, you know, 28.1 because that's my current version of OBS. So if you're on an older version of OBS, you might not have this. You might need to get a plugin or if you update your OBS, you should have this. So click on that, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to name this browser just because it's going to be my browser. 
And now it's going to show you which window. So see, I have Spotify, I have Phasmo, <coughs> excuse me, I have Discord, and then I have Opera, which right now I'm watching Epic Stream. If I close this, and I close this, and then I reopen it, it just shows Opera because I don't have any tabs open now. I just have the, the, the browser itself, but I don't have any uh, tabs open. So I'm going to click on this, hit OK, and now you see that it's right here. And then if I open up, let me open up one of my YouTube videos. If you're struggling to play using the Times 24 difficulty in Phasmophobia, here are some tips and tricks on how you can survive, make money, and get the gold trophy from the Apocalypse Challenge. So you can hear, that was my YouTube video. That was my own voice. That's my YouTube video for the Times 24 gold trophy for Phasmophobia, because I am an official content creator for Phasmophobia. But so what we're going to do is so you can clearly hear it right to now. To do this challenge, you need to create <coughs> a custom difficulty multiplier. So you see how you can hear it right now. So this is your VOD track because I'm recording on track two. So this is what your VOD can hear. If you don't want your VOD to hear this, like if you're going to play music and you don't want, you know, it to be on your VOD, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to get DMCA or you don't want to get, um, any mute, you know, anything muted. You go to your audio properties right here, advanced audio properties. And you see how for Spotify, I have track two unchecked because these are your current tracks. <coughs> Excuse me. Your tracks. Remember, track two is your VOD track. Track one is like your live feed. So if I'm recording right now uh, on track two, and like I said, this is supposed to be like a test to see if it's working on my VOD, you could clearly hear my video. So what you need to do is you go to your browser, you go to, and you do the same thing for Spotify or anything you don't want on your VOD. Uncheck number two. Uncheck number two. So now... I'm turning it down just a little bit. <clears throat> if I have it too loud, you'll hear it through my headphones. But so you can see how it shows that it's still playing. You can see how it shows browser is still playing audio. But you don't hear it unless you slightly hear it through my headphones. But here, I'll do this. So see, you shouldn't be able to hear that anymore. If I'm doing this correctly, you should not be able to hear that audio anymore like you just did a second ago. Now you don't hear it. And again, this is me recording on track two. So this is what the VOD would sound like if I was live streaming and you don't hear it. And then same thing for Spotify. If I play Spotify. Same thing. It shows that it's playing. You can't hear it. You shouldn't be able to hear it through this recording. And that's it. It's that simple. It's super simple to do. I know it can get confusing. That's why I'm kind of trying to like go over to make sure you understand the VOD tracks because the VOD tracks is a big um, key in making this work. Because obviously, again, your audio track is your live feed. Your VOD track is your VOD. Make it number two. If you want to record this so you can test without going live to see if it's working, make your audio track for your recording the same as your VOD. And then do little recordings and just test and see if it works. And then and then that's pretty much it. And then when you go live, if you want to double check it's working, you can open up your VOD or you have someone clip something. Clip just a few seconds and you shouldn't be able to hear your music or whatever it is that you don't want on your VOD. <coughs> But that's it. It's pretty simple. Obviously, you'll have to have your, you know, you'll have to add your like alerts and everything else that you use for stream. But again, if you have desktop audio, it's going to be playing your stuff twice. It'll get pick up the audio of your game twice. You know, if you have anything else um, and you have a separate source for it and it's also on your VOD and your live stream, it will play twice. So if you get double audio, that's why. So just make sure you don't have your desktop audio. Make sure you disable it again in the settings. Just go here and disable it. But I hope that helps. I hope that was simple enough and that I explained it uh, well. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to leave me any comments about anything. If you're confused, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, I guess, is what the uh, people say on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, I hope that this helps. Thank you again. Have a good rest of your day or night. And bye-bye.